Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hello. As promised, I am creating a video for the pages, the pages that I signed today, pages 13. So this is going to be pages 13 to 14, numbers 1 through 5, okay? So I have this video. I'm actually shooting it from my phone, my iPhone, so we'll see how this works. We're going to have to go back and forth to scroll down and scroll up and stuff, but we're going to try our best, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about number one. Number one says a drawing of a basement uses the same scale as the example. So we have to kind of read the example to you to find out what the scale is. I suppose you can read it all and kind of learn about what they're doing, but for the example, but the biggest sentence, the biggest sentence to know here is every inch, every inch in his drawing represents 10 feet in his actual bedroom. What that means is every inch that he draws really means 10 feet in real life in his bedroom, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about the scale here. This is an important thing. The scale is one inch, so it's gonna be one inch, one inch to 10 feet, to 10 feet. So what that means is one inch on, on paper means 10 feet in real life, okay? So that's the scale that we're gonna use. Very important to know the scale. Very important to know the scale. Let's go ahead and look at number one. I have to go and scroll down. Okay, so let me come around and erase this. Let's talk about this. So the scale we know is gonna be one inch to 10 feet. It says that the basement is 28 feet wide and 35 feet long. How wide and long is the drawing? Okay, let's go ahead and focus on the width first. We're gonna focus on the width first. We're gonna focus on the width first. We're always gonna start off with our scale that's given. So I'm gonna write down one inch to 10 feet, okay, easy. Now the width, the only information they're giving us is that the actual bedroom width is 28 feet, 28 feet. So we're gonna be writing 28 feet either here or here. Now with your experience with math, where do you think we're gonna put it? Underneath inches or underneath feet? Well, hopefully you said underneath feet because we're gonna line up our inches and our feet. So we're gonna say 28 feet, 28 feet, just like that. One inch to 10 feet. And we do not know how many inches. We do not know how many inches. That's what we're trying to find out. How wide and long is the drawing? The drawing will be done in inches. The actual uh, real live basement is, is what we call in feet, okay? Is in feet. Let me make sure that I'm still in frame. Yes, I am. Beautiful. Okay, cool. So, how do we figure out this number? One times, one divided, we don't really know. We don't know what this number is. But what we do know, we can manipulate with these numbers. 10 to 28. What are we doing? Are we multiplying or dividing? That's a good question. 10 to 28. Do you think that we're getting bigger or smaller? Are we getting bigger, multiplication, or smaller, division? When you look here, we go from 10 to 28, we're getting bigger, so we're gonna be multiplying by a number. What number are we multiplying by? 10 times one is 10, 10 times two is 20, 10 times three is 30, 10 times four is 40. Yeah, we didn't get a 28. So we're gonna have to, we know it's gonna be a decimal number, and here's how you solve it, okay? You take this number, 28, so take 28, and you're gonna divide by 10. You should get two, 2.8, 2.8, okay? Now to check it, take 10 and multiply by 2.8 and you'll find out that you get 28. So again, if, when you don't know what we're multiplying by, if it's getting bigger, just take this number, divide it by this number, 28 divided by 10, you get times 2.8. Let's go ahead and multiply this one by 2.8 as well. And one times 2.8 is just gonna be 2. 2.8 inches, 2.8 inches. Okay, so we figured out the width. Let's go ahead and do the length now. Let's go ahead and do the length, the, how long it is. Let's do the long length. I'm gonna write down one inch to 10 feet. I'm 
and they're giving us 35 feet long. 35 feet long, so I'm gonna write down 35 under here, because we keep our feet with our feet. And I do not know how many inches, but we're gonna find out right now. 10 times what gives us 35? Well, 10 times three is 30, 10 times five is, or, sorry, 10 times four is 40. It's in between. Some of you probably already know. If you don't know, take 35 and divide by 10. Go ahead and do that. Take 35, divide by 10. And you'll see because we're getting larger, we're gonna be multiplying by 3.5. What you do to one side, we do to the other. One times 3.5 is 3.5 inches. So, ladies and gentlemen, what is the answer? What is the solution to this? Well, the width, the width is 2.8 inches, 2.8 inches. The length, the length is 3.5 inches, 3.5 inches, just like that, okay? I'm gonna go scroll down, so if you need to pause this video to get this down, no problem. Okay, let's look at number two now. Number two, number two, we're talking about two buildings here, two buildings. We're talking about the Space Needle, which is located in uh, Seattle. We're talking about the Eiffel Tower, which is located in Paris, okay? It says that Eiffel draws the scale drawing of two famous landmarks. Each inch in the drawing represents 400 feet. Ah, really important to know. Each inch, that just means one inch, so I'm gonna write down here, one inch to 400 feet. 400 feet. One inch represents 400 feet. So one inch, for every inch that happens here, it's gonna be 400 feet in real life, okay? Approximately how much taller is the actual Eiffel, Eiffel Tower than the actual Space Needle? Show your work. When they mean this word actual, they mean like in real life, in real life. How big is it in real life? Let's determine how tall the Space Needle is in inches. Well, I, it's really important to notice that how many of these lines, uh, how many of these lines are in, each, are, are in each inch? How many lines are in each inch? Whew. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So there's eight lines in each inch. So here is going to go one, two, three, four. So this is going to be four. So four divided by eight is half. So we're at an inch and a half. So this is going to be 1.5 inches. Okay. Let's do the Eiffel Tower now. Because most people think it's two and a half. And it's actually really not. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Five out of the eight. That's going to be five eighths. So that's going to be two inches. I'm going to write it over here, 2.625 inches. 5 divided by 8 is 0. 0.625, okay, 0. 0.625. So don't think that the Eiffel Tower is 2.5. It's not, okay, they're trying to trick you, though, they're trying to trick you. So let's go ahead and do the Space Needle first. Let's do the Space Needle first, Space Needle, okay. So let's do the Space Needle, let's go ahead and write down our scale. We write down 1 inch to 400 feet. 400 feet, okay? We know we were given 1.5 inches as a space needle. 1.5 inches, is that gonna go under the inches or under the feet? Okay, hopefully you said under the inches. Remember, we keep it organized, we keep it organized. So let's go 1.5 inches, okay? We do not know how many feet the space needle is. But we're gonna find out very soon. One times what gives us 1.5? Well, that's an easy one. You multiply by 1.5. One times 1.5 is 1.5. So what you do to one side, you do to the other. 400 times 1.5 is 600 feet. So the space needle is 600 feet. I'll come over here and write down 600 feet. 600 feet. Now let's do the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. We're gonna do one inch to 400 feet. Okay. 
Okay. Again, it's 2.625 inches. 2.625 inches. To, well, we don't know how many feet yet. So now what we have to do is take 400 and multiply by 2.625. I have to go do that in the calculator. You'll see me do it. I'm going to take a calculator. And then we take 400 times 2.625. And that gives us 1,050. 1,050. 1,050. Okay, sweet. One thousand fifty feet. All right, very cool. I'm gonna come over here and write down one thousand fifty. One thousand fifty feet. Okay, cool. So the question is, how much taller is the actual Eiffel Tower than the Space Needle? To figure that out, we're gonna take the the the, top, the height of the Eiffel Tower, subtract from the Space Needle which would be 1,050 feet minus 600. And how much taller it is? Approximately, approximately, we're gonna say 450 feet. 450 feet, that is the solution, 450 feet. Okay, let's go to move number three. All right, this is number three now. Very cool. All right, number three says, the photo shows a small coin. The scale from the actual coin to the photo is eight millimeters to two centimeters. Eight millimeters to two centimeters. Okay, very important to know. We're gonna say eight millimeters to Two centimeters, two centimeters. Okay, very nice. Um, in the photo, the distance across the coin is 3.25 centimeters. The distance across the coin is 3.25 centimeters. Um, this is, can also be called the diameter, the diameter, okay? The center, we're well, cutting it right in half would be the diameter. What is the distance across the actual coin, the actual coin? Well, before we do that, let's work with a smaller ratio. Let's work with a smaller ratio, okay? We have eight millimeters to two centimeters. A lot of you know right away, from, especially from our warm-ups, that we can actually rewrite this and say that it's gonna be four millimeters to one centimeter, one centimeter. You can actually just cut each one in half. You can actually cut just each one in half. This is gonna be our new scale. I'm gonna draw a slight line through that one, okay? Our new scale. So let's go ahead and write it out. We say four millimeters to one centimeter, okay? And it was given 3.25 centimeters, 3.25 centimeters. So we're gonna write that in purple, 3.25 centimeters. And we do not know, we do not know how many millimeters there are yet. We do not know how many millimeters. But we're going to find out right now. Hi, Nancy Russia. This is only a test. Thank you. Okay, so, so we're going to take one centimeter times what gives us 3.25. We're going to multiply by 3.25. Now, this is an easy one. 0.25 times 4 is 1. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 would be 13 millimeters. 13 millimeters. Okay? So what is the distance across the actual uh, coin? We're going to say 13 millimeters. 13 millimeters. Okay, let's look at number four now. Or, yeah, four. Okay. Four states. Um, in a photograph, Allison stands next to her brother. Okay. Uh, 
There's Allison. Allison is four centimeters tall. It's in a picture. It's in a picture. She's not really four centimeters tall. It's in a picture. Okay, a photograph. Her actual height is 60 inches. She's actually 60 inches. 60 inches. 60 inches. She's actually 60 inches tall. That's five feet. Caleb is 3.2 centimeters tall. Well, he looks about the same height, so let's shorten him up a little bit. There we go. Um, what is his actual height of, of uh, what is the actual height of Caleb? Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that for every four centimeters, so every four centimeters, I'll write down four centimeters, for every four centimeters, you get 60 inches, 60 inches. Because it's telling us that Allison was four, is four centimeters in the, in the photograph, but she's 60, 60 inches in real life. So it's to be four centimeters to 60 inches. Let's, let's, make that a little, let's make that a little bit easier. Now, so a student said, Michelle Lozano, can't we just cut each one in half until we can't cut it in half anymore? That's a great idea. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's try two centimeters to 30 inches. Okay, we can still cut that in half. Let's go to one centimeter a lot better and let's go to how many inches 15 inches that right there is a scale we want to use now let's figure out uh, Caleb's let's figure out Caleb's uh, height now so we have one centimeter to 15 inches okay and they're giving us 3.2 centimeters we do not know the inches. That's what we're trying to find out. We want to know how tall is Caleb? How tall is Caleb? Okay, so one times what gives us 3.2? Hopefully you said 3.2. Okay, so now one times 3.2 is 3.2 centimeters. So we're going to take 15 times 3.2. Let me go figure that out. Oh yeah, because 0.2 times, a fifth of 15, oh, that was easy. 48 inches, which is four feet. So what is the height of Caleb? Caleb is 48 inches tall. Caleb's like, you need a calculator for that. Okay. And number five, the last one. We have um, an Andonancia, Andonancia. This person makes a scale drawing of the front of the Lincoln Memorial. She uses a scale of 15 feet in the monument to one inch. Okay, 15 feet to one inch. Okay, beautiful. The front of the monument is about 80 feet high and, the tw and 200 feet long. Will Andenach uh, draw drawing fit on an eight and a half inch by 11 inch sheet of paper? Let's find out, okay, let's find out. So we have, this is our scale here. Let's figure out how many inches will be here if we can take each one to 15. Now, I had a student say right away, they're like, uh, can't you just take each one and divide by 15? divide by 15 to see how many inches it's going to be. Let's check to see if that's going to work, okay? Let's do it the ratio way. So let's go ahead and do the, um, let's do the height of it. Let's do the height. So let's go, I'm going to, I'm going to go height, uh, put some black. Let's do the height. The height is 80 feet. So we're going to go 15 feet to one inch. And the feet is given by 80. And we do not know how many inches that's going to be. 
So 15 times what gives us 80? If you do not know, use your calculator. So we're going to multiply by 5.3. So this would be 5.3 inches. Yep, that'll fit so far. That, fit, that fits in that parameter. Very nice. Let's try now the length. Let's try the length now. So we have 15 feet to 1 inch. To 1 inch. 200 feet we're given, 200 feet, to how many inches? Let's find out. So you should have saw that that was 13.3. So we're going to multiply by 13.3. And we get 13.3 inches. Will this fit on an 8.5 by 11? No. We're going to say no. Because the length is more than eight and a half by 11 inches. Okay, eight and a half by 11 inches. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That is numbers one through five. That is numbers one through five. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Feel free to email me. Um, and uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Have a good day.